I just think a lot of our students here are trying to handle so many things. Um, uh, they're trying to, a lot of them are trying to work part time. Uh, they need to make money to pay for necessities, bills, even to just to help out at home and try to pursue their education at the same time. Um, so juggling those responsibilities uh, becomes very stressful. Unfortunately, that is the reality for many of our students is they have to work, they have to, they have family responsibilities and they're trying to go to school at the same time and it's a very tough combination. I, there's a sense of overwhelming, like I always feel like I'm being overwhelmed. I'm a full-time student and I also work. And one of the biggest things is knowing how, which one has president over the other. And uh, the number one thing I like to remind myself that nothing is actually permanent and I'm not, nobody's life is depending on my outcome. So whenever I feel a little too stressed, I remember I'm not curing cancer. I'm just doing an assignment. The way I handle stress is by prioritizing all of my assignments. Um, if you are not diligent, you just, instead of reading or studying, you're watching Netflix, then you know everything kind of like into an avalanche. But if you take one assignment at a time, um, and you just remember that you know I really, you can't, Rome wasn't built in a day. Turning things on time, whatnot, and just like possibly failing it. And the way how I deal with stress is uh, I do like a little bit of sketching and also reading. Like, when I do the sketching, it helps me, like, move out, spread out most of my stress, like, my everyday, like, life, like, in other classrooms and homework and whatnot, like, it's, like, piling and piling on top of one another and whatnot. And, like, reading is, like, it can finally, like, relax, just sort of, like, just brings down the stress, like, stress reducing, basically. There's three things that I would point out. Number one would be time management, uh, being able to manage their time better. Uh, give themselves the proper time to accomplish their task or get to where they need to be. Uh, number two would be exercise um, on a consistent basis that tends to definitely help with stress levels um, and um, cognitive levels as well. Uh, and then the third one would be as a student, I think one of the greatest things you could do to redu reduce stress is to ask questions, especially in class, to your instructor, to your to your other classmates um, to help get better understanding of the content because a lot of times most students are too embarrassed to ask questions and therefore they go home stressed and without any understanding. So raise your hand, work out, um, and uh, quit wasting all that time on your cell phone.